Humanize Your Friends is actually an engine uh, that's made to help uh, bring uh, physical games to the digital world. Uh, the physical games being games, uh, those uh, large, uh, large number of people, party games, the card games like Apples to Apples and Cards Against Humanity. What they did was they brought in some of the best cards from Cards Against Humanity and made it so that a bunch of people can sit around a TV with a Chromecast plugged in. And uh, rather than holding a, a hand of cards, you hold your phone and you have your, uh, your hand is actually on your phone. And the topic card comes up on the TV and it eliminates the shuffling, which makes for just more time for just <laughs> laughing and generally being horrible people. Anything that eliminates <laughs> shuffling is okay in my book. <laughs> hey, sword. Yeah, this one's for you. This last picture was... They kiss. They kiss. For your audio listeners, we just touched our fingers like they were penises. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, that, that happened. Well, we said um, we were going to uh, friendships. Uh, <laughs> We we played this for a good two three hours on Sunday. Yes, there was six we of played, us. We played through every card that was available to yeah, us. Yeah, um, we it worked out to about one hundred thirty rounds. So that I mean that's how that's how much we played it. Yes, very thorough testing, very scientific. Yeah, so I mean, and, and it works pretty well. I, I mean, like I said, if you're if you're familiar with Cards Against Humanity, like one, <clears throat> one of the things I like about it is. Like I feel like the presentation when you're the person reading the cards and putting them together with the phrase like adds to the humor to it, and then you know you pick. Uh, otherwise, like all the cards flip at the same time, and again, there are six of us playing, so there's five cards that flip at the same time, and we all react and are laughing to something, but we have no idea which one <laughs> the rest of us are laughing at. Um, and then it's up to really, you know, I, I feel like. I feel like the the, the king, the, the, the you know the the point giver in this case, um, um, it's less dependent on the reaction of the reading, you know, as I felt like it was in the in the original game. Uh, so it kind of I think it changes a little bit of the flow of the game a little bit, but still a nice. <laughs> it's still it's still a nice different way to play the same game mm -hmm. we were used to. And the best part is that. They got they they removed so many of the cards that were just decent, because one of the things that we kept saying was it's it's like you're playing an all star version of the game, mm -hmm. because you know some of those those ones that you just typically don't remember they aren't there. Mm -hmm. Do you have anal beads? Yes. Do you have elf cum? <laughs> yes. Do you have penises kitchen kissing? Yes. Do you have the stuff that matters. Right. And, and I really like the they they had a really nice. This idea of using the Chromecast, we got a picture here that's actually, I believe that's my Nexus 7 tablet there, and everybody else had like Android phones for, for the most part. Um, and, and that, you know, you see your cards here on your interface and you select it or and 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 it just, you know, kind of connects to everybody. It's really nice. You got to be all connected to the same Wi-Fi, have the Chromecast. So again, it's like, you know, if, if all your friends are Android friends, or if you're like Frank and just have multiple <laughs> extra devices, um, it works pretty well. So, and again, this is very, I think, you know, I think we determined this pretty early. And, and it worked pretty well there. We had a few glitches, like, don't let your phone go to sleep or you'll drop out of the game and lose your points, for instance. Um, you know, things like that. Uh, but but I, it's... And that it's, sounds like, that, that actually sounds like something Sorg would do. Um, well, it, no, it happened. Oh, no, it happens. Like, oh, let's go get some more something to drink, some more food, go to the bathroom, and then we come back. The phone is is you know asleep, or you you turn it off, you know, out of habit, and you, you and you go back and it's doing the app refresh, and it, and it doesn't it doesn't connect everything. It seems so. So, but we did have six people connected to this thing, so we I think yeah. we were, we were probably hitting like the threshold there, right? I I would think so because part of the thing is. I don't know that the screen is going to resize once you get above nine people. No. Nine people may be your highest you can, well, ten yeah. people total, a judge and nine players. That may be your tallest because I don't know that they have it built in where it's going to resize the screen for any more than that many. Well, as it is, some of the longer cards were running off the cards. Yeah, that's so. another thing. And well, like we said in the beginning, whenever we first started playing this, it's a beta. Mm -hmm. uh, looking right now, it's only between 10,000 and 50,000 installs. 
uh, it's only been out for, um, you know, just maybe a couple of weeks, not even. Mm -hmm. So it's still extremely new in the grand scheme of things. So the fact that it's at this point already, it's, I think, I think this has a lot of potential, especially since, uh, the game itself is more of a front end for, uh, to work out the bugs for the engine that lies beneath. Because what the developer is doing is he's using it to make an engine where you can uh, reliably license it to uh, the makers of Apples to Apples or the actual makers of Cards Against Humanity so that they can uh, put the full versions of the games into this engine. <laughs> so, mm. so the fact that it's more of an engine than a game and it still plays this well, I think is a tremendous feat. Yeah. And for those wondering how they're doing this, since, since like you know, Cards Against Humanity is something that is you can buy. Uh, they actually, uh, uh, they uh, well, I think Cards Against Humanity was a Kickstarter. They release everything on Creative Commons, so you can buy the cards from them, which is the, how they make money. Or you can actually download all the cards and and print them yourself and play the game. They they just put the content out there, uh, so there's actually nothing stopping them from taking that content and putting it in an app like this. I guess they did get a cease and desist because the original name was Cards Against Civility, and that Casts was a little too civility. close. It was a little too close to their 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 name and everything and their copyright, right? Mm -hmm. I something like that. So it sounded like a little bit of brand confusion. So um, and um, yeah. so are you brought this up off air. Uh, I was I was looking up Cards Against Humanity on the uh, on the Android device before it came out. Mm -hmm. Holy crap! There's a lot of them. There's a few on iOS too. There's some. There, there's actually an app that's just the black cards, so you can just use it as your black card generator and just use the white cards, I guess. Mm -hmm. So and there's other but kind of knockoff versions. Man's laughter. Yeah, manslaughter, which is man's dash laughter. Man's laughter. Mm -hmm. Uh, and there's a couple other ones too. Um, and I think there's probably there's you say there's a bunch on the uh, uh, Play Store. I think I saw like just probably they're, they're just fake ones, you know, just to get stuff. Mm -hmm. It hits because it is Cards Against Humanity. Uh, but let's see. Play there's NSFW. Play NSFW. Somebody has a Cards Against Humanity app, whatever that is. Which so is just two stars. That'll keep you informed. It's just a picture of the game. Horrible cards, columns of cards. Mm -hmm. And then we just get in, like, regular crap. All right. But yeah, don't go to those ones, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking right now just for all the different stories. Uh, that were posted about this game coming out, and the oldest one's only seven days old. Mm -hmm. So I figure this game's only been out for a week, and it's already playing this smoothly, you know, from a really new developer because the guy only has three other apps in the uh, Google Play Store, and uh, you know, this is the only one of its type. So. Yeah, I think this has a lot of potential. Uh, now, this is interesting. Uh, Missy actually brought this up. Uh, there is actually a Cards Against Humanity online version. Yeah. That's an actual licensed it's, thing. It is from Cards Against Humanity, and it's it uses uh, different types of cards, like different types of decks. So you, okay. if you don't, it, it uses different names and different things like that. Like I know there's Game Grumps on there, the, the, the Game Grumps version, which is just ridiculous. Uh, and some other YouTubers have their own decks. That is already generated on the game, on the game, and it's free to play. Huh. That sounds interesting. So, so it sounds like if the, if these guys kind of uh, steer clear of the legal troubles, they, this might actually get featured on their site. It could. So who knows? Awesome. Go All check right. out and, and don't forget to go check out Fuzzy's review over there on insertcoin to begin.com. Yep.